Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mokalower, and thank you for joining me here in my campaign against all of South America. Pretty much, playing as Argentine League, we want to unite all of South America under one single banner. So right now, I just played a little bit ahead of time, just to get things going. Um, Czechoslovakia is gone. Hungary took out Carpo Carpathian Ruthenia. And we are still Finland, or the flag looks like Finland, but anyways... I've done a few things. Uh, we're about to finish up our focus here. The barn of the world. Another civilian factory. More civilian factory construction speed. Very good. But, importantly, I also made some Coast Guard divisions. I made them 10 combat width. With some artillery and engineer companies. So we could start building some of those bad boys. Because we will need them. Right now, we have another infantry division. 19 combat width. Which is okay. Not great. It's okay. <clears throat> I need to throw on some more artillery on these bad boys. But that's a-okay with me. Throw you over here because well, I'm gonna need you, need to use you soon. Mountaineers are looking pretty good, resource-wise. We need more support equipment, so I get some engineers on my bad boys. And a little bit more artillery. We got plenty of guns at the current moment, but we must do now another national focus. Military factory sound kind of nice. Not gonna lie. Uruguay ultimatum or occupation. Military youth. We're still mobilizing more manpower. Uh, we're almost done mobilizing, but we could use more, always. More, more, more. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, civilian factories, civilian factories. How many civilian factories do we have? Fifteen and one. Ooh, I really want that radar up there as fast as possible. Um, I could probably wait. We'll probably be okay against our, since against Chile. Pioneers, Nuclear Committee, Balsero Institute. I'd love to have that. What about... Army reform. External military advisors. We are fascist, so Germany might be able to give us some help. Or we just get a double land land doctrine bonus. Um, You know what? Screw everyone else. We're doing National Military Academy. Argentine League is the best league. Depending on other nations to train our officers would make us politically weak. So it is imperative that we develop our own way to train our officers. That's right. We are special. We are very, very special. 17 divisions is what we currently have. Chile has maybe 11, maybe? Way less manpower. A few more ships. Uh, what are my ships doing? They are currently training, destroying any sort of fuel that I have. Go ahead and repair since most of you, if not all of you, yeah, all of you are at least regulars, which is good. Oh, another division. Good. Very nice, very nice. Three Mountaineers, which isn't bad. That's just so much in initiative. On these guys. I love it. Love it so much. Oh, and another division. Good. We're gonna need a big old army to take out Brazil, because Brazil... Oh, they got... They're actually fairly comparable to us, actually. They probably they probably have more civilian factories, maybe. There goes German Reich. No, we have more civilian factories. They have more military... They don't have more military factories. No, we're actually very comparable. Okay, Lithuania joins the Baltic Union. Very nice. I just want to know if Brazil is interested in taking out other people in South America to piss other people off. I hope so. Ah, Baltic Union. Oh, oh, the continental system with Bonapartiste France. Uh oh, our natural borders. Um, let's see. Guaranteeing the independence of the Swiss Confederation. The Free City of Danzig. The Polish Republic. They're democratic and you are authoritarianism. That's actually Legacy of the Grand Armée. That looks like a really cool insignia or symbol. Military society, we have integrated support. We shall next have regimental combat teams, of course, and the Baltic Union. Oh, the Baltic Union befriend Estonia. Oh, wow, look, assimilate minorities. More monthly population, that's always nice. House of Professions, organization and corporate statism. Happy 1939, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great year. We are having a great, great time ourselves as we are... Making better bombers. Yeah, go ahead and switch production. Uh, do we need more guns? No, we don't need more guns. We need more artillery. Throw some more bad boys on there. Nice. The Iranian Communist Authority was annexed. We can go to war for Santiago. Uh, looking pretty good, honestly. Looking pretty good so far. And the Saturday Bad Pact has gotten very, very large. Oh, and oh my gosh. Holy. Oh, that's disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, Turkey, why? Why, Turkey? Well, you might be able to expand the national oath. 
What, what is Turkey? They're authoritarian. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Why is Turkey in Iran? Oh my goodness. But anyways, let's go to war with these guys. We'll see what happens. They're guaranteed by the U.S., but the U.S., they got some other problems to deal with. They're becoming more and more communist. And they're isolationist, as well as disarmed, so... Hopefully this ends up like Paraguay, where nothing happens from the U.S. I really hope so. Go ahead and distract them. I'm going to send you down to help distract as well. You guys come down here, cut off all ports, cut everything off. You're going to immediately attack. You are going to move that way as well. I want you two to attack immediately as well. And we should have a few planes around here. Um, yeah, I'm going to detach you because you're not going to do anything that far away. That makes no sense. Oh, and actually, it should be going up to 100 there. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we will resolve what some might call the Beagle Conflict. This is all going to be Argentinian before we're done here. Very nice. nice. Yeah, I'm only attacking just so I can cut off the capital from everywhere else. Good. And immediately do that. I do that. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Uh, send you to take this area and then come back up north. Oh, they actually decided to defend that area. Interesting enough. Very good, very good. Uh, you come that way then. That'd be good. We have nine war support. Nine. That's not a lot, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. That ain't much, son. Good, we're doing okay. Down here, we're going to start taking some tiles. Take that out so we can destroy this division. Thank you. Go ahead. You guys have been almost cut off. Almost. At least the capital is surrounded. That's kind of nice. I like that. You guys won losses so far. 2,000 versus 1,000. Well, the losses will be worth it if we can take out Chile. Oh, yeah. We'll take the... Oh, we already have the capital. Nice. Santiago is ours. Do they have any ports down here? Maybe we just can't win. Maybe our divisions divisions are just Garbo. Oh, that's actually... That's actually a pretty strong division. Oh, but it doesn't really matter. I might have taken more losses, but what matters in the end is that we win. Ah, oh, look at... Look at... There is no conflict down here if you're all under one government. Beautiful. Arturo. Nothing? Nothing. Cool. Uh, throw the planes. Hold on, don't destroy yourselves. Oh, that's beautiful. Right there, let's get ready to go to war with Bolivia. Reform the taxes. Not, oh, nice, 90 days. That's because we went with ideological struggle. Which gives us way faster justify war goals times. And we have now 50 military factories. Beautiful. Antofagasta. And then you guys. Nice. Keep building that up. I'm also going to, let's see... Make that two levels. Infrastructure, I like infrastructure a lot. But maybe we could use more factories as well. Good. I'm feeling fairly okay about this now. Good, come up there. Mountaineers, come up there. Coast Guards, well, you'll be out whenever you're out. So we have about 300 artillery, which is good. Infantry equipment is probably more than dandy right now. Fighters are okay. Estonia joined the Baltic Union. I think anyone could probably expect that. How strong is Bolivia? Indigenous designs. Alright, nine divisions. That's not bad. Oh, internationalism. Daily communist support. Uh, we could institute press censorship. That'd be fun. I'm not going to go to war with Uruguay. Uruguay, until we have... Until they're out of the allies. Oh my gosh, there's so many allies. Ugh. War economy. Oh, I need more war support. Oh, I don't think I can get more war support, though. Oof. Uh, resources? Uh, that's not bad. Thank you for your support, Australia. Hmm. Yeah, nothing there is really worth it. Logistics, capital ships, division recovery rate. Motorized artillery. I like the artillery stuff. It's 1939. We have already an industry we're working on, which is good. Um, I can raise conscription. We don't really need that immediately, though. Let's do infantry equipment, just because we're going to be researching that quite a bit, anyways. Spanish state to go to war in Portugal. Oh, okay. 
All right then. Let's get some for advanced machine tools. Portugal, you're probably not going to have a good time. Retake Gibraltar. Oh, oh, oh no. Well, you're kind of aggressive there, Franco. Annex... Okay, but Portugal also has ideas of their own. I would love to see them annex Brazil after they've been attacked by Spain. Uh-oh. So, we have the National Military Academy. Germany proposes that we sign... A pact to address the Comintern's goal of spreading communism worldwide through the use of subversion and violence. By signing this pact, we agree to share intelligence on the communist threat and act in close cooperation against this menace. Hmm. Anti Comintern. So, if the Soviet Union attacks Germany, we'll be in a defensive war. I'm not going to be in their alliance. This could be good against Brazil. Mm. Let's do it, why not? We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Cool. So we went with National Military Academy. Infantry weapons. Motorized. Ooh. Artillery. Experience. Can send volunteer forces. Special forces. Equipment. Ooh. Infantry equipment. Production goes minus 15% production cost. Tanks. They're nice and all, but in the jungles and the mountains, they're not really good. Oh. Let's go ahead and try to get down here, because we already have more than 50 military factories. And let's do pioneers first. If we ever want to stand tall with the other powers of the world, we must have scientists capable of providing us with innovations such as the other great powers. Good, and China's not having a good time right there. All right, well, it's begun. There goes France. What is the Allies going to do? Oh. Uh-oh. That's... Are the Axis going to appear to be as the anti-heroes in Europe right now? Because France is the aggressor right now. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. I'm not saying the Axis or Germany right now is the good guys, but I'm not saying they're bad at all. I'm just saying that um, there's going to be a lot of dead people in Europe when we're done here. And that's okay. Uh, what? Confederacy of America... Simon Porter, hello! Independence of Unaligned States of America. Jesse Pemberton. Who are you? FDR. How did you mess up so bad that you now have two rebellious American factions? This isn't Kaiserreich. <laughs> oh my goodness. Confederacy? You know, when you say Confederacy, I'm like, where's the flag of Dixie? Come on. Don't tell me that this is just a normal Confederacy. Ah. Oh. Nice, we got those guns now. Let's get some better artillery. That'd be great. Good. Good, good. Keep building, keep producing. That's all good stuff. Second American Civil War. Unhappy with the policies of FDR's policies, the legislatures of several U.S. states have voted to secede from the Union. The American experiment is falling before our very eyes, and that's kind of okay with me. Corpus Christi looks like it's been taken out down here. Uh... Holy cow, they, they just need the Pacific States to rebel now. And that'll be it. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, hello, Great Mozambique. Kingdom of Angola, Zambia. Uh, Portugal, well, you basically took the path of communist United Kingdom. Now there's even more states in Africa. Yuck. What's Italy doing? That's a good question to ask, actually. Ultimatum to Albania. They haven't been too... Oh, I mean, they've been fairly aggressive, but... Let's see what happens with them. Militarize the Rome Protocols of Cooperation with Germany. Uh, how's the war between the French and the Netherlands going? Well, oh, even Poland's at war. They have... Oh my gosh, they have no stability. 50-ish percent war support. They have 20-ish percent... Oh! Napoleon. Napoleon, what are you doing? You have 20% stability... Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia joins a common turn. Germany is doing the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. So they're going to go directly into war. Look at all that stability, man. And war support. So great. Um, this is getting kind of wild. The Chinese United Front, of course. Sadovac Pact. Come on, Turkey, please do something. Wait. Wait, is... Afghanistan, you're in the set of bad pack too? Oh. Huh. Cool, we got our ghost guards. Very nice. Um, who's garbage? Nicholas. Yes, thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Someone's going to have to guard all these ports. I don't want to get, uh, you know, attacked in the booty. And if we lose the Falklands for now, that's okay. I just don't want my supply to be raided. And if they take us out, well, we'll take them out in the future. Peru is looking kind of large, not going to lie. We're going to need a lot of Coast Guards. Hey, a lot, a lot, a lot of Coast Guards. Good. We built up those radar stations. That's actually going to help us out quite a bit. Four's not bad. Three's not bad. I'd love to build synthetic refineries. Right now, let's build a few more military factories as well. I love the infrastructure. Actually, infrastructure-wise. Oh, you're building up more steel and tungsten. That's actually pretty useful. I like what we've got so far. So far. I think that's pretty good. All right. Promises of peace, ban communism. Good. How many more days until we go to until we can go to war? Oh, 13. Not bad. Let's let let's just let time go on and see what happens with the French Empire, the German Reich, the Polish Republic, and the Soviet Union, and the Turks. This is, this is a weird timeline. This is definitely weird. And then no more Portuguese people. Really weird. French German Reich, you're doing Molotov Ribbentrop Pact, and then you'll be attacked by the French. We got the Spanish. Spain. Spain, what are you doing? Now, you just want to come into the fun, too. Germany's trying to go to war with Poland, where the French are trying to go to war with the Germans, and now you're trying to go to war with the French. Italy, what are you doing? Cooperating with Germany. At least that's okay, I guess. United Kingdom? <laughs> Self-government for Asia. Oh, they, they don't even care. All right, let's let these divisions get a little bit more organized, and then we will try an attack in select places, we'll say. Goodness gracious, we need more bombers. Wait, oh, you're, oh, you're dive bombers. What the heck am I doing? Why would I have... Why am I making dive bombers? You know what? Just go ahead and do the Andes. That would probably be for the best. Alright. Give me like three seconds. Three, two... I doubt the U.S. will get involved, especially if they're in the middle of a civil war. So... But I could be wrong. This is Road to 56. Oh. It's a major lag. Oh. Let's do Pioneers first. Very good. Very, very good. And do Balsero Institute, setting up a place for groundbreaking discoveries where the brightest minds in Argentina research might help us to increase our technology output. Glorious. Three. The United States has joined the Allies. Guys, it's only 1939 and you have a civil... They might lose. Oh, but Canada might join them too. Um, I'm really hoping that the U.S. loses. I'm really hoping. What's Catholic Mexico doing? Strike breaking? How far can you go for war effort? Synarchist communes march southward. Unify Central America. Yeah, do that type of stuff. Cool. Let's go ahead and go to war with Bolivia. Anyone attacking me yet? Nope. Good. All of you guys attack here. I'm going to need as much support here as possible. Maybe except for this infantry division, the Molotov Rip and Drop Pact. The French declared war on Belgium. Crush the divisions, please. Thank you very much. Good job, guys. Ah, better artillery. Very nice. Very nice. You hold. I don't want you to move anywhere. Start producing better artillery. Start researching. Anti air is okay. Mm, better engineers. Oh, signal companies. Oh, that's kind of cool. 1939. We can do more uh, land air doctrine stuff. Ground support? Sure, we'll do that. Why not? We're getting another research slot anyways. Good. Very nice. We've lost about 400 and they've lost about 2,000. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Let's get our line a little bit more reorganized. If I do a general push, can I just win? Italy join the Axis. Very nice. And I start doing some th synthetic oil experiments. Very good, and it might be a wise idea to go to war with Peru. Ah, uh, they have 18 divisions, that's not bad. 75 days, that's pretty good. No longer get effective collectivist, collectivist ethos, 1.34 political power a day. Pact of Steel. Wait. Okay, so they're in the Axis, that's good for them. Well, how's Belgium doing? Are they supported by the Allies, by... They're fighting this by themselves. Oh, the Benelux is on fire. Germany. <clears throat> Can you go to war with Poland? I want to see what happens. Start the 15-year program or plan. Holy cow, that's a long time. 
Well, the world's on fire. China's getting destroyed. Vietnam's already free. Germany's just kind of sitting there. Yugoslavia joined the common turn. France is being very aggressive. We have a civil war in America, which is going okay-ish for them. Oh, did they lose? No, that's Richmond, I think, right there. Yeah, that's Richmond. Oh, Dallas is getting close to being a frontline city as well as Washington, but uh, we'll see what happens. Is the underlying states at war as well? No, they're not. The, the, it, what, oh, the independence is guaranteed by both the U.S. and the Confederate States. Confederacy. What the heck? I swear to God, Road to 56 is so weird, man. So weird, and that's why we love it. Uh, La Paz. Keep it on La Paz for now, just because uh, I can't see my own divisions. There we go. Losses, 5,000, 16,000, pretty good. La Paz will be ours very soon, so that will be very bueno. Oh, we got a little bit more political power. Can't do that yet. Can I do war propaganda? Absolutely. That's actually really good. I need some more war support. Actually, how do I do some of this stuff? I need a lot more army, air, and naval experience, which is fine. Our divisions are doing all right. They're actually not too bad right now. Um, you could just cut off the... Or just take the capital. You don't have to attack, necessarily. Just take the capital. Uh, advanced machine tools. Very good. Very good. Better fuel refining is okay. Let's go ahead and do some special equipment. We get more recon and soft attack for our infantry. Because Road to 56 is special and Belgium is almost dead. Destroy Al... Oh my... You're just trying to piss everyone off, aren't you, France? Marine infantry, come on. Spain, get involved. Germany. Honestly, Germany, you're probably the most... At least you're not trying to start too many wars here, Germany. I'm not going to say they're peaceful, but I'm not going to say that they're... You know, doing other stuff as well. Motorized, we got planes going. That's good. We're going to need some more aluminum. I don't mind trading some aluminum for... Um, Oops, excuse me, that's my fingers, I'm cracking. Uh, sure. Just a little bit. I want to make more planes. Focus on that infrastructure. Continue building up stuff. Civilian factories are always good to build, but do I need more? I could use more of this. Do that. And do that. Good. We took the capital, which is good. It's very, very good. A little more planning, or just move straight into the capital, because they left it undefended. All right. Oh my goodness. Oh, the French Empire is expanding and now they're attacking the Netherlands. Oh my goodness, where have I seen this before? Um, Atomic research? Sure thing. Oh good, more Mountaineers. Oh, Bolivia! Thank you for playing Bolivia. All right, everyone, get ready for a war with the good the bold and old Peruvians. Now, these guys have a lot of divisions in a single tile. That is interesting, to say the least. Now, they're starting to move out a little bit more. Okay. Makes a little bit more sense. Uh, how's my navy doing? I'm sure they're actually repairing because they're not doing very well. Come to Santiago. The Republic of Finland rejects Soviet demands. This will not end well. That looks like a very formidable France, not gonna lie. Spain, are you gonna go to war with France yet? No? Okay, you're gonna expand the mines. Traditional roles, limited rights. Ah, yes! Very nice. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, immigrant wave, military youth. Oh, Uruguay! Uruguay. Uruguay belongs to Argentina. They lack the might to confront us, but let us see if they. Know it. I don't know if this will put us at war immediately with the Allies. I really hope it doesn't. Um. Oh, wait. There's a claim, ch claim Chile focus here. Oh, there's Paraguay as well. And, oh, Bolivia. Oh, I already did all that stuff. Oh, I hope this doesn't put me at war immediately. I really hope it doesn't. Yeah, that would be really bad if it did. Industry. Eh, get some more resource extraction. We could probably use, extract a few more things like tungsten because... I guess. Maybe not. Really not. Whatever. Good. You guys are doing alright. Santa Cruz. Um, if I increase this, we still can't get up there. I'm going to put in Santa Cruz, actually, just because that'll help against Brazil as well. 
50. Oh, we got a war economy. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Now we've got we're building more, 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 more. Good. Okay, there goes the Soviet Union, and we no longer get the effects of nationalism. Okay, the Finns join the Allies. So now the Allies are fighting the rebellious Confederacy of American states, and they're fighting the Cominter now. All right then. Well, so we'll see what happens. And they immediately begin attacking us. Interesting. Go ahead and do the Andes Mountains. We'll see what happens. Any air support? We're doing a little bit. Oh, wait. How much are we doing? 0.3. That's not great. They're immediately attacking me, which is uh, okay with me. I don't mind getting attacked for once. Go ahead and let them attack us. They're attacking us where we have five divisions for some reason. They don't have air superiority. They're only attacking four divisions against our five, which doesn't make too much sense. They're very, very aggressive for some reason. I don't understand why. Does anyone need repairs? You guys are okay. You guys are generally okay as well. Cool. So, let's see if we can maybe start patrolling around... What the heck? Who? What the... Wait. Wait. What's going on? Naval invasion? No? Why, why are you in the middle of the ocean? You guys see this, right? Yeah, it's... Um, okay. Thousand losses versus... Whew, 20,000 already, holy cow. Give a little bit more... Oh, they're out of manpower. I'm going to wait for these infantry divisions to move around first before I actually move into enemy territory. I need more bombers. I'm going to need more uh, aluminum. Aluminum. US. Thank you. I want those bombers, man. Alright, so they stopped attacking us. Uh, really, this would probably be the best place to attack down here. Can I attack here? Kind of, yeah. Could we win, though? They have six divisions, but they're not extremely strong. And we do have a little bit of air superiority here. Just a t tiny, tiny bit. No, it appears that we cannot win there. Fighting in these mountains is going to be quite treacherous. So, we need to expand our air capabilities more and more and more. And also throw some more artillery on these bad boys. If I do this, actually. Engineer companies. How much support equipment do I got? I got some. Throw it on there, because why not? Do that. Very nice. Very good. Hmm. Where should I attack? It seems like they're probably getting more manpower. Yep, they got a little bit more manpower back. And they will attack us probably relatively soon-ish. We really need to focus on an air... Uh, air Force. Really focus on that Air Force. Where am I building? Military factories, radar... Spanish state declared war on the French Empire. Alright, there goes them. Do I have any aluminum within South America here that I can get immediately? No. Of course not. Oh, we have a new army though. That's good. Six divisions, crazy to attack there. What if I attacked here? Can you guys make it down here immediately? No, you cannot, so you will not attack immediately. And this probably will not go very well for us. Or, 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 hold on. Not bad so far. Not great. Eh, we probably can't win. Fighting in the mountains is never a good idea, and we are going to... Oh, oh. You guys got the... No. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to waste too much more. Sniper team, that'll come in handy. Uh, engineer reliability. Gotta wait for that. Ooh, recovery rate. Steel mill. Tanks. SRD. Better recovery rate. Less supply consumption. Uh, let's go with that. Why not? Cool. So, let's do the tried and true tactic of abandoning the line a little bit to see if we can exploit the Hoi4 AI. Yeah, you know, send one more division that way too. Hmm. And send one more that way too. Because why not? How's the world looking? Well, the Confederacy isn't doing super well. The they were navally invaded again. The now the Dutch are actually pushing in, or they made an encirclement in Antwerp. Huh. Oh, they have the VOC as a puppet. That's kind of cool. 
Oh, the circlement's over. Spain is actually naval invaded Bordeaux. Poland refuses German ultimatum. We got claim Chile. We got all this stuff. Um, claim Bolivia. Paraguay occupation. Oh, all that stuff is done. Nice. Next up will be industrial development. We rely mainly on our rural production, which is no good at all. An effort to increase our industrial production would help us make our own path without the need of mass import. Sounds good to me. And then I'll do some more of the air stuff, because I really want to focus more on the air. Please don't go to war with me, Uruguay. All right, then. Uruguay surrenders. Thanks to our powerful military, Uruguay has decided to accept our demands to take control of the country. It's now a core of us, and we just annex them. We just straight up annex them. And we can realize Platian ambition. Our destiny can be realized by the unification of neighboring people in order to realize a greater union. And this does hurt us a little bit for a while, but, you know, whatever. Look at that. The Silva Empire. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe, you know, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and check out my Discord link in the description below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode, like I said, and I hope you all have a great, great day.